Hey, everybody. Welcome to Elizabethan Meteorologist Dave Dirks with Paul Johnson. PJ, as everybody calls you. We are on our Storm Tracker Tour first stop. And, well, the weather's warm, but a little bit wet. Every time I hang out with the weatherman, this happens. And plus, we're going to be checking out some of that great apple pie a little bit later from Food City. There is no we, Dave. You know that's <laughs> only for you. And you, you even ordered the ice cream to go with it. Yeah, what are you thinking? I'll share it. All right, let's, let's check this out. Could you take a little bigger bite? I could. <laughs> well, go ahead and do it. But I won't. <laughs> yeah, you will. <laughs> Absolutely, oh, well, here we I will. <laughs> Television history. <laughs> oh, that was the worst bite in the history of television. <laughs> but the tastiest bite in the history of television. How about that? We are on the road again in our Storm Tracker Tour this week in Abingdon. Hey, Julie, this Storm Tracker Tour is shaping up to be an awesome one. Check out the crowd. Wave, everybody. People in Irwin very excited about the brand new Food City there. Food City CEO Steve Smith says it'll have a great economic impact on the town. Keeping tax dollars at home I know is important for Irwin and for Unicoi County. But what they've done with Irwin, the downtown area, they've got a vision of what they, you know, what they want to be and what they want to develop. Food City is helping a local animal shelter after almost 40 dogs were found living in deplorable conditions. The assistant store manager at the Food City on Euclid Avenue says they have raised over $5,000 in dog and cat food. Food City Race Night is now in its 32nd year. It has something for everyone. Live music, a racing simulator, and lots of food. And Food City Registered Dietitian Elizabeth Hall is here with us to help make those trips, uh, you know, a little healthier for us and, and not blow the diet as well. Right, but one of my favorite parts of vacation is the food, really. Hi, I'm Steve Smith with Food City. It's great to partner with WCYB to sponsor the Friday Night Rivals pregame show. Now my good friend Lisa Johnson joining us. And, of course, there's a lot of stuff going on. Uh, we got the $5 Friday, but it also is National Family Meal Month. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. We're at Battle Hill Friday Night Rivals. And we are having some time tonight. Of course, we've entered the, the part of the uh, tailgate section of our broadcast that's my favorite because now I actually get to eat a little something, all right? Which one is this one right here? That one is the spicy tuna. All right, I'm going to try this spicy tuna sushi roll. All right, let me try it. Perfect way to cap off this wonderful tailgate. So why don't you try some ribs there uh, first, yeah. So you make these in the smoker, is that in, right? In the smoker, in the store, yeah. Mm. Mm. My gosh, yeah. these are meaty little they, things. They, they and are. you got some of this awesome barbecue sauce. Yeah, bees right. trying to attack Well, the bees like anything sweet. Yeah. Surprise, they're not after me. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to think I'm a pig out there in TV land, aren't they? Steve Smith, thank you so much, the CEO for Food City. We are always, you know, grateful to, to work with Food City. You all, all do so much for the community, and we're just, you know, grateful that we were able to... Uh, partner with you for the storm tracker tour again this winter well dave thank you all we love wcyb y'all have done a great job this is the fifth and i think you said it the largest crowd here but we had great crowds and all our other uh storm tracker visits so we just love having you here the people love having you guys y'all are so much in touch with you know with our customers and the folks that watch your weather and they really feel like they're part of you all so well, we thank are, you for being in our store thank you we are blessed you know to live in this part of the country uh great people in northeast tennessee southwest Virginia, and uh, we just appreciate all you have done uh, this again for the Storm Cracker Tour. Well, thanks, Dave. It's a great partnership. We look forward to doing it again next year. It's a great partnership. We look forward to doing it again next year. It's a great partnership. We look forward to doing it again next year. I guess it's the last stop on the tour for this year. Yeah. <laughs> Got the big gun out there saying we're going to keep doing it, huh? Steve Smith, nice of him to drop by. And we appreciate the partnership.